Well, <laughs> that's gonna go smoother. Surveying the broken remains of his graduation party, Liam was struck by several emotions at once. Anger, sadness, fear, and indignation. They all rose up in his heart together. But the strongest of all was the grim awareness that it was less than an hour ago that he was recklessly longing for adventure, only to find that Captain Robin was right. Living it was quite different than he'd imagined. Once he'd gathered his wits, the sextant told a tale how he'd been full front for the Corsair sneak attack and also for Sophia's courageous defense. Seeing his concern, the wizened old friar assured Liam that Sophia was quite all right and that she'd drawn the beast away, allowing several villagers to escape in the ancient catacombs beneath Sextant's hill. Liam was filled with pride for his brave betrothed Sophia, but worried to learn that she'd insisted on running headlong into town to fend off the raiders. As the two mice peered northward with Liam's new way glass, they spied a growing chaos of frightened mice and pillaging pirates. But Sophia was nowhere to be seen. Even worse, gathering to the south, they could see a long line of marching rats. The bulk of the attacking force was less than an hour's march away. With the road blocked and no cover, there was no way Liam could reach the lighthouse that way and remain undetected. But then the gentle friar revealed a secret passage in the crypts that led to a twisting maze of vaults and halls beneath the village. Perhaps the subterranean path would get Liam down to the water's edge. Handing him a lantern, the friar's last words hung in his heart like dead weight. Hurry, lad. Sophia is down there somewhere, and she's alone. If time was so important, then why'd they take the safe and slow path? I'd have run right into town and shown those brutish vermin what a mouse is made of. My word, it certainly wasn't for lack of courage, my boy. I remind you, Liam was unarmed, but more importantly, untrained. These rats were veteran murderers. Formidable in fang and skilled with the scimitar. Liam would have fought bravely, but died quickly. Stealth was his only option. Remember your training. Most beasts only rarely look up. Hide up high. Move low and slow. I probably should have uh, moved a bit slower, but sorry. Shit. Well, shit. Well, okay, we found this. There is something more up there, though. I just know it. I know it's less than Anna. Never mind then. The flower barrels. Oh. Ah, okay, so it hides my scent. Oh. Oh, wow, holy. F Holy shit. <laughs> ah, look. Not sure if that's a smart idea. <laughs> there, bathed in silver moonlight, the Lily Grove catacomb stood as a grand, if dusty, example of the craftsmanship of the moles. 
Long centuries before the spectacular vault was built by the mighty Runebro clan, in celebration and gratitude of all that Lady Grove had become in its heyday, which even then was long, long ago. And though its splendor had faded in the steady flow of time, it was, and still is, one of the most majestic sights in all of Mossflower Country. Didn't wanna risk, but hello. Goodness me, a scout! I'm saved! Uh, who are you? One of the River Mouse urchins. Ah, oh, Dibbons. Why in heaven are you playing dress-up at a time like this? Great Scott! You're right, Mrs. Ivy Wayne. What was I thinking, burgling the scout call for official kit and sneaking down here to find you? Oh, I must have been knocked on the skull for sure. Am I bleeding? There's no need for sarcasm, my boy. Please accept my apology. I was only pleasantly surprised. More to the point. What was it? Liam, I think? Oh, what are you going to do? There are rats everywhere. No harm done, ma'am. I'm pleasantly surprised myself. Well, the rats, I'm working on that. But rest assured, I'll think of something. Indeed. Here we can you again? Get. Sorry. Uh. <laughs> uh. Ooh, hello. Oh, still Lou. I've been down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. No matter. Plenty of straw. I steer down here. That's me. Wait, what? Ah, uh, okay. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. I'm centered. Oof, and there's another one over there. Hello. Oi, still Lou. Up and down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. No matter. Plenty of straw. I steer down here. That's me. Don't know what that does, but I think it might change the. Uh... Oh, shit. I uh, might get centered again. Yes, I will. And probably rightfully so for... Ah, okay. Hello. Phew. October ale, eh? For Oktoberfest! <laughs> Come on, pick him up, thank you. What's this? I don't see why not, maybe... Tavern, even... Inventory. Honey mead. Oh yes, I would love some of that. Pipe weed. I'm not sure about that though. Uh, all right, let's go. Oh, 
I have a feeling I need to be on the other side. Let me just get some more, why not? And I am looking for... Grabella, how do I do that? How did I get down here, though? Probably, probably the other way that we came from. Oh. Sing the love song, eh? Well, we can look at it, can't we? Sing. S. Uh, la la la. I'm not sure what to think at your first. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. But beautiful in the same way I find a baked apple. Is that something you would eat? Not sure. That would be one of the words, but that, <laughs> me neither. <laughs> but let me try. I once disliked apples. After I could start, it was continuously fooled by the presentation of browned butter on some. Okay, never mind. Um. So how do we rescue? Some beast down here. Well, oh, hello, hello there. No. Who are you? Chop chop, little scout. Do what a snob! Do your job and save me. There you go, chop chop. Must have heard the uh, door closing. I still loo up and down them circle stairs. My back will snap before night soon, just you see. No matter. Plenty of strength if I scale down here. That uh, do I still have to pick up that key though? He now was. Okay, I guess I got it, so I don't have to... No, I have to pick it up again. Alright, that's good. Now I know that, so it's lore I'm, I don't have to pick up again. How do I save Dora Bella though? Oh, 
he heard that shit. Sensual handiwork in the cobbles and pillory. A bit of gothic, some Roanesque, and a Mr. Cornsilk, I didn't expect to see you down here. Are you quite alright? Oh, surprised, are we? And why is that now? Perhaps you mean to say you hope not to find me down here safe and alive instead of stuck on a pike, eh? Oh, no, nothing of the sort. I only mean your tavern keg vault is likely the safest hiding place in the whole village. Yes, well, it would have been, except I was in the middle of rotating stock when the brutes arrived. But never mind that now. You're a scout, right? Isn't it your job to take care of such things? Get me out of here. Uh, how the hell do I... What's taking so long? That's the guy we should leave, uh... What a fucking flower here. Hold on. Someone has been drawn. Wait a second, I might have... Wait, what? Letter to Ma, why not? Snooping in everyone else's letter, so... Letter to... Tim, all right. Interesting. Oh. No idea how to, um, you know, save. Yeah, how do I do that? I guess I have to deal with the... Let's try this, Mr. Cornsilk. A bit cramped, but should get you to the shop cellar just fine. Okay, let's go back to um, her. Let's just get some flour. So gotta be something in the vicinity then. Ah. Here, Miss Ivy Wayne. I'll crank you up to your shop cellar using this. All right, that was easy enough. <laughs> Eas was easier than it than I thought it would be. Let's get flour from here. Every time he clamps into the barrels, it sounds like you know, like he said, "What the?" <laughs> uh. Okay, there was flour right there. There's a rat there. Okay, what happened is uh, if I actually do? Okay, so the wind. It will carry my scent somewhere else, won't it? Never mind. Not sure why I'm entering here, but uh, you know. Oh, hello.
Ah, so this is uh, more a um, place where, you know, stocking. Stock it, is it? Uh, you know, where they have all their stuff. So they, if they need something, they will go down. Go down here and pick it up. Declarations. Why are all these things just mixed together? I demand a formal apology from the little folk to Grotto. This will be war between us. No timeline difficult was secretly gathered on dates and nuts and honey. I promise Edith a special share. Cinnamon. Instead, I was one surprised to find that all hard work carried off. Into all right. Oh, hello. It takes a while for the um, jam to get picked up, apparently. He heard that. Now I'm gonna have that stuck on me all the time. Hello there. Oh my, just look at you. Our new Lily Grove Scout. I always knew you had it in you, Master Rippermouse. The seventh son of a seventh son and all. Mm? Your stars are well placed, my dear boy. You have my complete trust. But said, now that you're here, perhaps you know of some place just a tad safer than here. Oh, Miss Ivy Wayne, I had no idea you'd even recognize me by now. It's been a long time since we studied fiddle. I'm flattered. I'll look for a way to higher ground and let you know what I find. In the meantime, I suggest you stay hidden. And we're over here, Belladora. Hop in. And I'll hoist you up to the shop cellar. How is it safer on ground than Red right, Wall Ranger? There's a scent in here that we should properly look at. At least I want to look at. Oh, wait, hold on, that's scent. Okay, that, it wasn't that one, okay. I'm gonna get scented up here. Okay, so now that he's looking, or you know, wondering, he won't even fucking bother by the looks of it. down there okay if I want to pick that up I just gonna since he won't calm down hold on
Okay, so seen is forever. Seen, okay. Or not seen, but noticed is forever. Noticed. And it won't give a faintest fuck about anything else. Alright, now we know that. I still want to see what the hell that was about, though, down there, but... Hmm... What smell is this? It's the key that would need. And since he won't move or anything. Well, we can get back. No, he has to see us. Unless I can do like this is no I have to get seen by him I have to fail because he won't care he won't care that's the thing he don't care Grandpa. Okay, let's actually see. Okay. Quite easy to save them though, you know, it's not like you have to really do anything. Oh, you can actually like, see his ears in there as he has a camera pants, alright. Again, like a goddamn ghost. Again, he heard. And since he heard. Okay, he won't be running away after us. Well, we're fucked. That's not how it ends. I know. Well, calm down. So, if I get this right, let's first scent ourselves or make ourselves unscentable. My mouse is touching the damn counter. I hate that. Oh, that's gonna hurt me. Hold on. Down here. Something's wrong here. I can feel it. <laughs> yes, I can absolutely feel it. Be 
Because I need a key, and there's something that I can pick up over there. And he just won't move. He just won't move. I don't think he cares if I make a little noise either. Is that meant to be Martin the Warrior or something? Oh shit, got stuck in between. Yeah, that that is the key that I need. Hey buddy, how are you? Just kidding. Quit stalling! I want to know what happens. Yeah, well, What do you mean he's seen something? I honestly don't know what to do. Quite honest. Scouting ahead. No idea what the hell that is. I mean, if he won't turn around, what am I supposed to do? He absolutely refused to move. Is there something I'm doing wrong? Maybe. Well, so I guess. I guess I did. But now I can't. And I can't jump either. I got you now. Um, 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 Are um, you um. sure that's what happened? Oh, that's so much. Something is wrong. I can feel it. Feel it, know it, and absolutely certain. No, 
Oh, he's still there. And if I do like this... No? We jump. I think he is supposed to move. Serious. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, he he can smell me very soon. So serious. Jeez. Oh, I used to think badgers built this place, given all these statues. But Thomas says it was actually moles. Well, what blight will learn her letters anyway? Can't one make a joke? Her age is as easy as blight. Beyond the good corsairs and the liquid corsairs. This water down there. Oh, he he's strapped. I think. I think that's actually something about lighting all those. So maybe I should have lit. Bloodwells are down here, ain't he? Always peeking and poking and trying to get my ears. Mayhaps I'll get his eye on the end of my dagger. I need a plan, I do. The sergeant will make a move for second mate tonight, I'm sure. And then you'll be needing enforcers, seeing as I can see the dynamics. Hmm. Do I need anything in here? Doubt it. Doubt it for now. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea. Two-edged cheese, eh? Oh my hand, jeez. 
Uh, alright, I'll probably be mumbling all the time. Uh, alright, so what, do I need anything in here? No, pretty darn sure about it. Unless I want a scent. That I do not know. Oh, hello. What's that? Ah, another key I need. Okay, so where do I have to playing this time? There's more mail. Letter to Glimmer. Order from Smithy. Very well trade order. And letter to Mimsy. Uh, shit, I already forgotten half of them. I would like to place an order for more Red Wolf famous collier. Cordal. Dorabella, alright. <coughs> Help. That's all I could pretty much make out. No. Yeah, really. I I trying my way forward now, kid. <laughs> if they won't listen to this to the um, exact bell that I'm ringing. Uh. Is that some sort of alternate ending? <laughs> Okay, this is just annoying. So you won't listen to that pling that I'm making. So... It ain't that one. No, it ain't. Where then? Because he's looking at that door. that I have to do do like this. Up there, up here, then what? Uh. 
Would I be able to jump on that, though? I believe this is what you call a sort of a bad game design? Okay, so he's guarding that that door. He won't react on this bell. Why is there flower here? What's this? Killing those lights did what? It did absolutely nothing, as far as I'm concerned. Is that a fish? No, it's a stone. And then I can... Okay, so turning them off is all I can do there. Come on. This is gonna get annoying. Ah, come on. Okay, let's go over there one more time. Liam. Game ain't really straightforward with me, and I have to go in here, so, uh, you know, you are gonna have to suffer until I actually figure shit out. Nope, can't go there. And there's no door to close, so... <sighs> oh, really? Ah, okay, yeah, of course he would see that. Okay, yeah, I, that pling, that, that's that bell. So it's not like the two outside where we first met, where they just walk up. Yeah, of course, of course. So maybe not... It's probably not me with my bad... <laughs> it's probably more me with my uh, poor eyesight in game. Then, uh, how do I learn that scent, though? Well, let's look around while we're here, shall we? What's this? And let's call him back in, since we're done. Oh god damn it. Ooh. Uh, there he comes. Why are you changing the camera for? Ah, oh, here you all are. 
Despite the urgency of the situation on the surface, Liam found himself compelled to lend aid to those frightened and desperate beasts. And as the last one descended to safety, he found his own animal surprisingly calm. His anxiety for Sophia greatly diminished, and in his place a determination and resolve that he'd never felt before. Even now, he was embracing the values of Red Wall before ever hearing its charter or passing its gate. All right. I'm so happy to see you healthy and whole again, Miss Ivy Wayne. I believe you'll be safe here. Oh, don't be so coy. Betwixt you and that amazing Sophia, Dorabella and I are alive and in your debt. I'm thinking of making a statue in your honor. <laughs> I believe I'll call it the Scouts. Really, that's not necessary. But you mentioned Sophia. Have you seen her? Oh, I've more than seen her. I was positively rescued by her. Wielding that sword like an angry wasp, she beat back a half gaggle of those ruthless pirates, protecting me before charging off toward the center of town. Oh, hi. We're sisters. You didn't know that. Twins, in fact. Oh. And she's the eldest by the narrowest margin <sighs> as I emerged clutching a reel. No, I didn't know that. Begging your pardon, ma'am, but the two of you seem nothing alike. Oh, no offense taken, my dear. That's the way it is with twins from time to time. I've always been the quiet, creative one. Liberty gibbet, she says. And she's always been the smart and productive one. Yes. Uh, I might say you were the kind one, but perhaps you have a better way to put it. Yeah, once you actually learn twins, or, you know, you spend a lot of time with them, or with them you, you're like, wait, hold on, that guy actually has, like, l heavier stuff. That guy has lighter hair. That guy has thicker hair. That guy got something else. My, I should have thought of that. Oh, you must be so worried with your farm out on the outskirts. Well, rest at ease, dear one. They're quite safe. We were all preparing a surprise party for you. Um, surprise. <laughs> I do not believe they came down into the catacombs, but rather escaped the initial attack by fleeing north toward Old Moss Creek. Liam, you must be ever so proud of your precious gal. She was ever so brave and... Uh, what's the word? Indomitable. Um, never mind. Uh, how are you? Mr. Cornsilk, I wanted to check on you. Are you alright? Why shouldn't I be alright? I'm not an invalid. A few great hairs doesn't make me helpless, you know. Of course not. I only meant... Well, now I'm not sure, really. Help or kindness? That is all from some kindness. He probably respects help more. Uh, but we're gonna go. What I meant to say is that while a fit and upstanding citizen like yourself can obviously fend for himself, perhaps you could use a hand securing that splendid cider you're so famous for. Hmm, famous, you say? No, oh, Mr. Coyle can't stop raving about it. Says it's the finest press in a hundred leagues. Does he now? Well, he's quite right, of course. <laughs> Mr. Coyle, while well, he's a bit more accommodating than most, hasn't got the palate to discern a great brew from a merely good one. Nonetheless, I'm pleased to know my apple cider has met his approval. At least somebody appreciates my work. I'll let you in on a little secret. Failing to seal the fermentation crop with wax is the first mistake most brewers make. 
the slightest drat, and the batch turned skunk. That, and a dose of beet sugar, is apparently enough to earn a bit of notoriety. Yeah? <laughs> Messing up and trying to fix it. <laughs> Who's your sweetheart? Sophia? You mean the Rhyme Maid lass? No, no, no. I don't believe you'd be catching her fancy. No offense, boy. But all the same, I did see her just as I was locking up. I must say, she's quite impressive with that blade of hers. Your girl or not, I think you can rest your worry. She looks well able to take care of herself. And the last one is up there. What's this? Uh, butter. Ooh, a lot of food here. It'll last a minute. Barricade the door. That's good. This is Ivy Wayne. Me mum and family were planning to be in town this evening on account of my graduation. I don't suppose you happened to see them, did you? Your mother? Oh, wait, is she the one with the dull grey dress she wears most every day? Yes, that's right. And drags around a wheeled basket full of dried herbs for sale? Precisely. That's my dear sweet mum. I didn't see her, no. Mm, yeah, there's nothing to talk up with, I think. Uh, so how do we get out of here? Might actually have to move that. Ouch. Or we can move through. Ew. Some shortcut. 